Hi there, Phil Boardman here from Hip Training Chef Academy. So today I'm going to do a little demonstration for you. It's a kind of meal that uh, my partner and I, we often cook this on the last day of the week, just before shopping day when we're sort of using up what's left in the cupboards. So it's, it's a very simple dish. All we've got is pancetta, or you could use streaky bacon, which I've just cut down into lovely lardons. We've got some parmesan, one onion, finely diced, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of garlic, some egg yolks, some spaghetti, and some parmesan. Um, which we're going to use, we're going to use a little bit of parmesan in the sauce, and a little bit to grate on top later. So, it's basically, it's, it's a traditional carbonara. Or you, the Italians will probably tell you it's not traditional, it's the way we cook it in our house. So, we've got the egg yolks. This is going to be the basis of your sauce. You'll notice that there's no cream in this carbonara at all. Traditionally, carbonara will not have cream in it, so this is the way I cook it. So, we've got grated parmesan. You've got about 50 grams of grated parmesan there, of which goes into your eggs. And a quite generous amount of black pepper. You'll do what that's the, one of the key ingredients of this carbonara is the amount of black pepper that goes in this. So, if you think you've got enough in, put more in. If you don't like black pepper, leave it out. That's absolutely fine as well. So, quite generous nice amount of that. And then we're just going to mix that together slightly. And that can go in the fridge until your pasta's cooked. So, I'm just going to put that in my fridge. Okay, great. So the longest thing it takes to cook in this dish is the pasta. So you're looking at sort of 10 to 12 minutes, depending on the type of pasta you've got. I'm going to go with half a bag, we're cooking, for, half a bag will probably do enough for, for three people. In my household, who am I kidding, that's only going to do two of us. So you want about half a bag into your boiling water, which I've generously salted. I'm going to let that boil for about 10 minutes. Okay, so while that's sinking in there, I'll turn my frying pan up to full. I'm going to add a little bit of oil. You don't need much oil in this because you've got nice fatty bacon there. There are loads of flavour out of the bacon. The oil here is just to stop it from sticking to the pan. So, you don't want your pan too hot because you want to render down that fat. So that's about right now. Get the pancetta in. Like I say, you don't want it too hot. If you get it too hot, it's going to burn too quickly, it's going to go crispy, and you're not going to render down your fat. Now you might notice as well on the pasta, I haven't put any, any oil in the pasta. There's no need to. You just need to make sure you give it a good stir. As soon as it goes in, stop it sticking. There's absolutely no need to add extra oil to your pasta at all, into your pasta water. So just give that a good stir. So keep your bacon moving all the time. Now the sort of bacon you want to use for this, you want to use either a really nice pancetta or a smoked streaky bacon. You want that fat in there because that fat's going to add to the sauce, it's going to add to your flavour. For such a simple dish, you need to get as much flavour in there as possible. So once your pasta starts boiling again, give it a good stir and just turn it down a little bit. Let it simmer for a good sort of 10 minutes. Keep bacon moving, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. Beautiful. And you can see the sort of pan shirt I'm using at the moment, the fat to meat ratio on that is quite high. So you've got quite a lot of fat. If you can't get pancetta, like I say, squeaky bacon is absolutely fine. So you can start to see all that fat starting to come out of it now. So it's frying in its own fat. Beautiful. That's where all that flavour is going to come from. How can something so simple be so damn tasty? Yeah, so you want to take, so I take it to that, that sort of stage where the, 
the bacon's kind of getting a little bit golden brown, a little bit crispy. At that stage, we're going to throw in our onions. Give them a little sweating off in the fat as well. If you're a little bit health conscious, you can pour off some of that fat. It's not a problem, but to me, it makes the dish. So, once all the because your onions are nicely diced, they're not going to take very long to sweat down. Let's give them sort of one, one to one and a half minutes. I'm trying to scrape some of that. Some roasted bits off the bottom of the pan as well, so we'll get all that lovely bacony flavour. Okay, now that's sweat down a little bit, I'm going to add my garlic. So I've got two cloves of garlic there, finely diced. Let that cook out. If you want to really make sure you cook out the garlic. If you don't, that's where you get the really harsh, sort of fiery garlicky taste. And it's what makes your breath smell, so the other half ain't going to like it. About another 30 seconds or so. Just going to check the spaghetti, see how we're doing with that. Best way to check if spaghetti's cooked. Taste a little bit. There you go, there's no, no bite to that at all, so that's beautiful. It's not chewy at all, it's a little, just a little bit al dente, which is exactly what we're looking for. So now I'm just going to take the heat off the bacon and garlic. And what I'm going to do, get my eggs back out the fridge. Okay, so this is going to be your sauce, your eggs. Um, we're not going to cook the eggs as such in a, in a fierce heat. We're going to add the pasta and the bacon to the eggs and the residual heat will cook it. So it's going to be perfectly safe to eat. And how we do that is we get the bacon nice and hot still. And then we pull over the pasta. We don't want to drain the pasta, we want to use as much of that sort of starchy, lovely pasta water in the sauce, as much of that as possible, because that's going to make your sauce beautiful and creamy. So we're just going to pull it out with tongs, throw it straight into your bacon, get all that out there, make sure you get some of that sauce in there as well, some of that water in there as well. Beautiful. Give that a good toss. Now we get this nice and hot, so increase the heat on it a bit. You don't want it to catch on the bottom of the pan, but you just want to get enough of residual heat in there to make sure you're cooking the egg yolks. And also we're going to use, don't throw this uh, starchy water away as well. We're going to add a little bit of that into the egg yolks as well to create the sauce. Right. So I reckon we've got enough heat in there now. So we're just going to throw the whole lot of that into your eggs. this a good mixing in so you can see all that heat in there is cooking the egg yolks I'm also going to add a ladle or two of the starchy water just boiling start off with one and then basically you just want to get it to the consistency you want it so if you want it nice and wet and saucy add more water if you're happy with it being quite dry and thick add less I like it with a little bit of sauce. I like it to coat the pasta, basically. There we go. So we're pretty much done. I'll plate one up. So make sure when you're plating up, you take your pasta out first, with tongs, give a little twist, give it a bit of height. And you're not looking at scrambled eggs, look at nice creamy pasta, nice creamy sauce. Scoop out some of your bacon. The bottom. Okay, so a little bit more powers on the top. Bit of fresh parsley. And I can't resist, but you need a lot of extra black pepper as well. There you go, pasta carbonara.